If you would like to get this month's crystal reading for your sign for download and purchase, please click on the Vimeo link below this video in the show more section or visit my website, theluckymermaid.com and the links for these videos are posted on the most recent video page. Please be sure to check out my other psychic readings for each zodiac sign I have available there as well. Thank you so much. Wish you many blessings and peace. Hi Scorpio, I'm Pam and welcome to your Psychic Tarot reading for September 2017. This month I laid out the five card rainbow tarot spread for you using the Hanson Roberts tarot deck. And remember, these are general readings and to get messages pertaining specifically for you, you would need a private reading. This recording is for Scorpio Sun, Scorpio Ascendant, and Scorpio Moon. Please be sure to watch your rising sign and your moon sign to gain more insight and information because some months they're going to resonate more for you than your sun sign will. All that being said, Scorpio, now into your reading for September 2017. First card you have that shows up here in the reading today is the Wheel of Fortune. And to me, this is the karmic wheels of fate turning in your favor, the planets in the heavens and the spirit guides around you <clears throat> conspiring to give you karmic good fortune. But keep in mind, I don't read the cards upside down. I only read them right side up. So my guides will tell me whether the card is positive for you or not so positive. I always go by what they say, what my guides say to me. You're troubleshooting <clears throat> a lot of issues in September. I feel like this one wants you to do something. That one wants you to do something. This one wants you to fix something. That person wants you to do something for them or fix something. So you're doing a lot of like fielding different issues coming at you and troubleshooting comes up quite strongly for the Scorpios. Some of you may be thinking of leaving a job or pondering or considering doing a different kind of work. I see some of you uh, thinking of like leaving, you know, like packing up your stuff from a, at a, at a, a work place or job situation and thinking of leaving it. That comes up for some of you. I feel some of you Scorpios are trying to figure out where you've come from, where you're going and where you belong, like trying to figure out your place in the sun. Where do I belong? Do I belong over here? Do I belong over there? Do I belong with this partner? Do I belong by myself? Do I belong with a different partner? Do I need to have a different job? Should I move to a different city? Like I'm seeing you or a different town or a different home. I'm seeing you really focusing on where do I belong? Like what's going to make you feel at peace? What's going to make you feel settled? What's going to make you feel like you're comfortable and at home? I, whether it's in a job or a living situation or a love relationship, whatever it is, but it really feels like uh, in some ways spatially, like the space where you are. It, it could have a lot to do with that. Some of you are working closely with someone or involved with someone that is deceiving you or hiding something from you. Um, that comes up here in for September. It's like you're trying to cover all your bases and you've got a lot of ground to cover. So I feel like you've got a lot to do, especially if you're working Scorpio. I feel like and, you know, to do with your family as well, because I feel like, oh, my gosh, I got to handle all this stuff. And now I got to go over here and handle all that stuff. Feels like to me, like you've got to cover, a, you've got to cover a lot of bases and a lot of ground to cover in September. You could have superiors or higher ups watching you. Because I, I know this is going to sound weird. I've gotten this before for Scorpio, but it was a long time ago. Well, it's coming up again. Uh, I mean, maybe a year or more ago, uh, I feel like either somebody spying on you or stalking you or watching you, 
but it could be about like at work. It could even be like maybe a higher up is like thinking, am, am I going to give this Scorpio a higher position, more money, a higher job? They could be secretly watching you and taking notes. It could be an ex-love stalking you. Who are they with? What are, what are you doing, Scorpio? Who are you with now? Are they jealous of it? I mean, it could be like that. So you, you've got some weird thing going on where I feel like you're kind of being... Uh, somebody's watching you, but it could be for a positive reason. Like I said, it could be work where they're thinking about giving you a promotion uh, or something like that. So it's not necessarily negative, but I get like the feeling of being watched. Let's just put it that way. Next card you have is, is Ace of Cups. This is awesome. This is love coming to you. God giving you the blessings of love and abundance of love. It could be coming from a, a new love, a love relationship. It could also be coming from family, family members or your friends. You could just be getting a lot of love and appreciation. It can also mean a new love relationship. I do feel some of you are coming to a conclusion in your mind about love and marriage or love what you want and what you don't want. Even if you're already coupled, you may be coupled with someone and feel like you're happy with them or maybe you're with them, but you're not totally happy with them. For some reason, I see you questioning, what do I want in love or what do I want out of this love relationship I'm already in? It's either you're single and you're questioning what you want or you're with somebody. Either way, you're questioning what you want. Some of you are going to form a bond with someone uh, very strong that's new. Some of you, it, there is new love coming in, but it's weird. I get like this strong bond. So you may meet them like through work or through some other group or club or activity you belong to or in some other manner because I feel like a bond develops between the two of you a friendship or a bond even before it turns into love. So uh, I'm not saying that's going to be a long process. I just see like this strong bond and then I'm seeing love and it going somewhere. So even if you're already coupled, you still could meet somebody like let's say you're with someone but you're not married. You could meet someone and be like, I feel like I just met my soulmate. <clears throat> so just think about that Scorpio you got some interesting things here your cards are very weird I'm going to warn you ahead of time before I get past this one because this one's pretty good you got some weird ones coming up some of you may be feeling like you want to find out about someone trying to uncover secrets or uncover information about them like maybe you meet somebody new and you're like you know what I'm googling them da -da 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 to see because you might have some suspicion of them uh, or you just want to be sure they're okay they're above board there's nothing dicey or weird about them you know it could be that kind of investigative thing I also get some of you that are coupled may hire a private investigator or do some digging or snooping around about somebody you're already with maybe you don't trust them maybe you feel like they're cheating or they're up to no good or they're doing something weird but you like it's weird this is the second time I've got watching like first I felt like you were being watched for one reason or another now I feel like you may be watching somebody or digging into some information and googling them and and or looking into stuff about whether you're already with them or you're not so I don't know this is weird but your next card I is uh please don't be mad at me I shuffle these cards many 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 times and you've got ten of swords here this is either being stabbed in the back and betrayed or it could be somebody passing away. But these cards could come up for other issues too. Not just those two meanings. But very often that's the kind of thing that comes. Those are the two issues that come up when Ten of Swords shows up. Some of you are going to leave an unhealthy relationship. Or a relationship where you may find out or uncover something that you don't like. Because I, I see you going, bye bye. That's what I pick up from this card. Now I'm not picking up death. Um, I don't know whether they've betrayed you or not either. I just pick up like for some of you, it's not, it's a general reading Scorpio. And you know what? I'm going to say it right here. I haven't said it yet uh, to remind your sign, but if these messages are not making sense to you, which really in, in a way you really can't judge that until after September has passed because 
I, I'm reading this in August, right? To get ready to publish them in September at the end of August. So uh, you need to wait and see whether it makes sense. But if you feel like these messages are not talking to you, then watch your rising sign and your moon sign. See, I see you going, there's a finality here. I can't do this anymore. So to me, it really feels to me like it's circling around a love relationship, a love partnership. Could even be like maybe you have issues with a son or a daughter uh, or a grandchild or some sibling or with your parents even if you're mad at them. You may get to a point where you feel like, They've done things or said things to you that have gone on too long, that have hurt your feelings too much, or you're like cutting your losses and you're like, I am done with them. For many of you, it, though, I do feel, let me put it to you this way. For some of you Scorpios, it's a love partner you feel that way about. But for those of you that are happily coupled and there's none of what I've been picking up already going on, in your life or you you know check it out at the end of September to see if it made sense uh, this could be about other people like somebody else that you but it would be somebody you cared about and would be close to not just some willy-nilly somebody you don't you know like a co-worker that yeah maybe you deal with them a lot but you're not like this with them you would have to be very close to the person that I'm saying you're saying I'm done with it I feel that many of you are saying, I've given all I've got to this situation and relationship, whatever the relationship is, whoever it's with, and now I have to take a step back and totally reevaluate it because you feel like you've given a lot here and either you don't feel like it's reciprocal or there's you just feel like kind of, you may feel betrayed even if it's not an actual act that would be considered total betrayal you may feel betrayed by their actions in some other form you may talk to people and get some counseling or help about it you may seek like just to talk to friends or someone else to like get therapy kind of like through your friends or people you like or trust or you could actually go to a counselor or a therapist or spiritual counselor to get advice about it. I picked that up for some of you Scorpios. Now here you have the devil card. This is addiction. You could be addicted to something, drugs, alcohol, sex, spending money, gambling, pornography, sugar, overeating, uh, you know, I don't know, smoking cigarettes, drinking, I don't know. But it could also be being trapped and bound to an unhealthy situation. It can also be trapped uh, or um, like almost like a fatal attraction, like addicted to someone, like being addicted to a relationship. It could also be that. I feel like there's somebody you're gonna say, I can't spend time with you anymore. I need to distance myself from you I, I've had it or it's this is a, not a healthy relationship. I see you saying that and I kind of got the same vibe off of this card too. So you got these two cards. Where do you see the next one? I mean, I, got, I don't want to give you bad cards, Scorpio, and I have nothing against Scorpio. I have no, there's no Scorpios I have any vendetta against. So I know sometimes people say, you don't like this sign or that sign. I don't think I've gotten negative cards for Scorpio for quite a while, but you have three here that are weird. So these two seem connected to me. I also feel like in some way you feel like the scapegoat, like you've been made a scapegoat in some way, and I also feel you're tired of running around and doing everything. So maybe you're like also been taken advantage of, and you're running around doing everything for everybody else, and you're not, and it's not 50-50, or you're not, it's not, it's not balanced or fair in some way. It's possible you've been feeling like that. I feel like there's somebody you don't want to talk to anymore, and you feel like I have to quit this because it's too hard on me. That's what I hear you Scorpios thinking or saying. Also, some of you may be parting company or parting ways with any one person or groups of people that are sucking you into anything negative, like, you know, 
any, like, you know, maybe whatever the negative thing is. I don't know. What, whatever their, whatever the group or and or person's, like, negative or possibly addictive issue is, it's like now it's affecting you and it's sucking you down and pulling you down and dragging you down. And I see you feeling like this isn't helping me. It's not a healthy situation for me. So it could be a group of friends you hang out with, uh, you know, or, you know, a, people that you have to affiliate with for some reason. You may be deciding this is turning into, a, you know, a problem or it's dragging me down or it's not healthy for me. And you may say, I got to exit that situation or I'm not dealing with it anymore. Here's your last card. This is Nine of Swords. This is grieving the loss of a, a breakup. This, to me, usually this is what comes up with this card. But I've seen and heard many other reasons for it to show up. It can mean sleepless nights. It can be you not feeling well, you being sick, not feeling good. It could also be uh, somebody that you're close to is sick and not feeling well and you're worried about it. Um, but again, as I say, this is usually grieving the loss of a relationship or a breakup is usually what Nine of Swords means to me. So I'm going to show them to you in a row. This is how you had them in this order. You had Ten of Swords, the Devil, Nine of Swords. I don't know, Scorpio. So, so you know, maybe I really hope your month is fantastic and maybe this is just a fluke. I don't know, but these are like powerful cards. I hear you saying, I've done everything I could. I can't do it anymore. I've done everything I could to like help fix or salvage the relationship. I can't do it anymore. So again, I'm going to repeat myself here. This to me feels like it doesn't have to mean love. It could be. I really feel it's a love relationship first, but it could be some other close relationship to you where you feel like I've tried to fix it. I've tried to heal it. I can't do it anymore. I have to exit it and get away from it and, and, and heal from it. So that's the energy that's circling around this nine of swords. I feel that in some regard, there's something that you feel concerned about, like not wanting to walk alone. Maybe you don't want to be by yourself. Maybe you're afraid you can't do something alone without a partner. Because I see you feeling like you're concerned or worried or afraid about walking alone down some path in your life. Maybe you just feel like life is too complicated. Bills are too expensive. Life isn't getting any easier in some regards. You know, there's it's, everything costs a lot of money and it's more, 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 all the technology and all that. And maybe you feel like with all the bills and all the struggle it is to keep your head above water, like you can't handle it all by yourself. Or maybe you just are emotionally feeling like I want a partner close to me and I don't want to be alone, emotionally speaking, or both. I don't know what it is, but I, this is what I pick up like in the ethers out there. Like you're thinking that through this card. I actually do feel some of you may have a reaction to some other things going on in your life where it may not make you feel well, where maybe you're going to start having headaches from this situation, or maybe it's going to give you upset you know, churning in your stomach or you really, and sleepless nights. So you could, I, you know, I want to say this card is probably explaining multiple things here because the way my guides are talking about it, you don't want to be by yourself. You're kind of afraid about walking alone for whatever the reasons are associated with it. Uh, but I also pick up like I'm getting a headache at the, like the top part of my head here. So you could like on either side, so you could like the temples, but kind of back further than that. You could start experiencing headaches and your stomach could start churning around because of all this stuff that befell you uh, here. But, you know, I really do feel you've got some of you are going to meet somebody that you are going to feel like I met my soulmate. This is the right partner for me. Um, 
so I, I've got like a weird thing about your reading. Like on one hand, I see this, and on the other hand, I see that. Uh, these other cards. So you've kind of got a dichotomy here. Don't get overwhelmed, Scorpio. These things may not all occur in the month of September. It is a general reading, and all of you Scorpios are not born on the same month, the same day, the same year, the same birth time, the same city and or country. So your timing is not going to be the same for all of you. Maybe something I'm picking up here is actually going to happen in October or November and something else is going to happen in, in September. It's not that everything will happen to you all at once, but um, you did have those three cards that kind of clumped up together. So I feel that these three are really about one issue in particular, one area of your life. And if you listen to this again, you'll hear about what. And um, then the Nine of Swords at the end, you may not feel so good because you've gone through stuff. But these two cards were positive. So you've got like a mixture here. But I hope this reading was of help to you. I hope it made sense. I want to thank you so much for watching, sharing, and liking my videos. Thank you for subscribing and for Google Plusing. I do truly appreciate that. And please be sure to subscribe. That way you'll get notified when I post my videos here to YouTube. And Scorpio, if you'd like to get a continuation and see what other messages and predictions that my spirit guides have for you for the month of September 2017, you can access these videos for download and purchase by clicking on the link below this video in the show more section and it will take you to my Vimeo videos on demand page for September's 2017 psychic crystal readings for each sign of the zodiac. Um, and if you can also want to get them from my website, you can go there, and that's www.theluckymermaid.com. Click on the Videos tab on my menu. It's a drop-down menu. Go to page 11, and there you will see the heading for these crystal readings for September. You click on your sign, and it will take you to that video on Vimeo. Also, you might want to check out the August 2017 Eclipse Effects psychic readings for each sign of the zodiac to see how the two powerful eclipses especially the one on august 21st that we had on uh that full eclipse in um leo that new moon eclipse in leo you might want to check that out because you'll see how those eclipses are going to affect you for the next six months and they're longer than I usually do, just like I do here on YouTube. They're 20 minutes long. And I pulled three cards for each sign and looked into the crystal. So you might be interested in checking those out. Please also be sure to check out my new business and videos here that I'm posting to my channel uh, for the Psychic Pastry Chef, where you can see each month on the first of every month, what dessert I made for the sign for that month and I'm giving you psychic predictions in the videos for all the signs. So you might want to check out and see what dessert uh, Virgo got and then listen to see the predictions that came up for your sign mixed in that video and those predictions are for 2018. So if you want to check out a dessert get the recipe, I show you how to make it, how to decorate it, and get predictions, please be sure to check out the Psychic Pastry Chef LLC. And you can also check that out on Facebook as well. I post predictions there daily, uh, almost daily, that you won't be able to see here on YouTube. And you can check out the uh, website for my other business, www.thepsychicpastrychef.com. So I hope you have an amazing September Scorpio, and know that I wish you many blessings and peace.